What's up people, welcome again to my channel. This is Fuguen, for those who don't know me. I've been here on YouTube for almost three years and uh, exactly what I've been doing is learning uh, and sharing my experiences about English. And uh, at this moment, I want to share with you so the fact that uh, thinking in English, uh, what it has to do with, uh, with your level so what if you already know uh, English but you think a lot in your mother tongue? What if you think a lot to convey a message? What is it if you're nervous that you forget everything you wanna tell you wanna say? Um and by this I want just to tell my point of view what I've from my own from my own experiences. So and it is the fact that I've been um thinking about this so and it is an, an excellent topic i want to talk about and we are starting right now i believe that when we um do not think in our mother tongue is because of the lack of practice uh in terms of phrases i consider that as much as we practice some sentences let's put an example if I know how to use a word or the sentence I have watched, I have done, I have improved, I have uh, told, I have spoken, I have, you know, all those configuration of words, if we, the more we use those words, the more easy it will be for us to just use them. So, and I think this is an important uh, fact here, is that don't, Thing that if you already think in English, you will use that sin those sentences pretty easily. So I consider this like when you um, know how to ride a bike. So you say, okay, I know how to ride a bike, but it's because of uh, tons of practice, because tons of uh, different um, movement, uh, different. Uh, um, you know the experiences you have been spoiled with that bike so and it is the same i consider that if you learn uh, a way to communicate a, a sentence you are more likely to to think a lot because i i just know uh, one way to communicate an idea so but if you learn with the pass of the time if you learn different uh, ways to communicate an idea like three ways um let's say an example if you learn how to say yeah man take 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 the le left take the right so turn turn left <laughs> turn turn left turn right so then you're you're more likely to just do not get stuck and i think this it has a lot to do with uh thinking in our in uh in english and i consider myself that i I don't, actually I don't use my Spanish when I'm when I'm speaking after almost four years of being used in English. So even though I've learned English here in Colombia, I've never traveled abroad, I've never traveled overseas, I never traveled to another country, I've never traveled. Uh, anyways, I'm I'm showing you three different ways to say that I've never gone to other uh, English uh, speaking country. So this is basically the message that I wanted to communicate right now so to wrap it up is just the fact that you uh, have created like in your brain different pathways like when you are walking in the grass uh, and you walk through it so you will see that the more you go through that space through that path so then you will m made a mark so it is the same when, when you use your English. So do not worry about if you think in Spanish too many. I I have to think in Spanish to translate in English. For this, I want to uh, recommend you when you are uh, in your beginning stages, do not use Spanish when you are learning vocabulary. So use your imagination. Like, let's put an example. I am a, a mechatronic student and I learn uh, different words or phrase or I mean if I have a new term a new uh, technical term I I am taught to learn it in, in, in English 
for example, the word bypass. No, this is a bypass, so you see a lot of uh, pipes right here, so this is a bypass. So you have to uh, put a bypass here, you have to bypass, 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 but what is, what is, what is it exactly a bypass? Bypass is an inter, inter, inter? A, a, a connection between two lines so when you have to repair one line so you you open the bypass so you are, uh, enable the bypass to for the fluid to go to other other uh, different uh, places you know like you have a, a line right here and a bypass allows you to repair that but the the, the flow will continue without stopping so in here you are using the word bypass but you internalize it in english so that's the same i want you to do when you're learning new words so try to um, uh, connect with that word in english so do not exactly go through the meaning in spanish uh, unless it, it is a, a, a complex word but if it is a word that you can learn easily uh, uh, by Interior to internalize it in English that will be perfect. Okay, so guys, thank you so much for watching this video and um, take care. You know, see you until my next video. Bye bye.